Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'd like to introduce to you a tool called Softmasoft Dumpsack. Now Dumpsack is the tool's name and is a product by Softmasoft and it is a security authentic program for mainly Microsoft Windows, Windows OS. So uh, this tool basically dumps the permissions and audit settings for things like file system, registries, printers, shares, all in a readable uh, GUI format so that you such as users can identify holes or flaws in your security systems. So let's begin. Now let's get into it. So if we click on report, you can see there are multiple options for different dumping. You can see different uh, information. So I won't be going through every single one. You can do that by yourself. Uh, and the link to download this tool will be linked in the description below. So let's begin with the first one. Let's dump services. Let's click on here. And now you can see you can select the type and status. Let's go with the default, which is everything is thick. All right. Now we can see all of the services in your computer, whether it is stop or if it's running. You can also see the type, which is in kernel or is in your Windows, or and then the account, so it's in your local system or NS uh, authority. Now you can compare this with the one in your task manager. For example, here you just go to your task manager and click on services. The difference between Dumpsack and Task Manage is that Dumpsack it gives you complete version of the services in your computer. So, for example, now let's look at this. So, as you can see, BITS, BITS, they have it. But if you look further down, for example, here, beep, running, and it's kernel, but it's not shown here. See, we only got BITS, Brave, Broker Infrastructure, which is here, the second one, this one right here. But it doesn't have PEEP, which is right here, it's not in. So this shows, so Dumpsack shows you the full version of all the services running in your computer. Hope that is clear. Now let's move on to the next one that I want to show, would be Dump User as Column. So once you click it, there are uh, multiple fields for you to add, remove, move up and down. So by default, you can just play around, just uh, take this, show normal user account, that will be fine. So I have selected the user fields, username, group, full name, profile, account type, last login time and comment. But you can add others such as uh, SSID, or your password expires, workstation, home directory, and all. So I'm just let's just go with this and click OK. And as you can see, we have four accounts: administrator, guest, and this mine, and others. So you can see the full name, account type, profile, uh, the groups, what groups they are in, and comment. So this is very simple. So as simple as just reading. Now another thing you can compare similar like just on that services, you can always go to your control panel, right? You can go to your control panel, user, and then user accounts. So you click on manage other user and as you can see, again dump site gives you the full version. Let's bring this smaller. It brings you full version as you can see here as administrator but it doesn't have administrator here. So this actually gives you the dump site actually gives you the complete list of accounts that's in your computer. So let's move on to the next one. Now the next one would be dump permissions for file system. So let's click on that. Now after you click on this, you can actually select through your disk and the C or E. So I'm gonna go with E. Now I'm going to show you one of the files in my desktop and then I just click OK. So you can, if you double click on it, it will open up the folder. So we click. Now just note that this only scans your folder and doesn't really scan like individual files such as your text file, the documents files. It mostly scans only your uh, folders. So as you can see, you can see the account 
the owner, the directory, and the file. So this is pretty much very straightforward. Uh, read, write, execute, and D stands for directory. So it is a directory. So then the users and all. Relating back to our dumb user as column, you can see our users here: user, administration, cannot. Now, one more last thing I'd like to tell you is that whatever you dump here, the information, you can always save it or export it into a file. So you can just click save report as in file. And you can choose whatever directory you want by here. And lastly, you can select whatever format you want. So all of the format will generate a TXT file and you can open with whichever program that you like. So let's go ahead and try and save on file. So I will use uh, this comma separator columns and as you can see I already tried generating so let's do test 1 and let's save it and then it will save the location so now we will be opening with our excel so I'll just go to go open let's try to load and change change this to all files test 1 open and to click on this detail limit next comma instead of tab and click this click finish and there you go it's generated in your file and this is how you open up the file after saving it